the final plugin we're going to have a look at today is from Northern Beat Audio. This one's only available as a PC based VST plugin, but is quite a good little subtractive synth called Daedalus and is especially good if you're fairly new to subtractive synthesis or synthesis in general and are looking for something that's fairly simple to to get your hands on to be able to just play around and experiment a little bit so as we can see you can make a no donation to northern beat audio in order to remove the nag screen and as you can see it's fairly simply laid out that you've got your first and second oscillator a bit of a mixer to be able to control the blend between the two different oscillators as well as ring modulation and white and pink noise you've got a couple of filters including a simple high pass filter as well as a VCF which gives you both low pass and high pass modes you've got a pair of LFOs which are capable of giving you some quite good routing options so you can get a fair bit of stuff happening with those you've also got your typical VCO, VCF and VCA envelopes or oscillator filter and amplifier envelopes and to top it off you've also got a chorus, a delay and an arpeggiator effect so quite a bit of stuff there to play with but not overly complicated so nice and easy to use so to give you an example of some of the sounds this thing can come up with we'll just stick with our synth base 1 preset which is our default preset for the moment so quite nice sound out of that one quite bitey and yet it's also a fairly clean sound which is quite nice if we check out the super lead we'll see what that one sounds like so quite nice sound out of that one too We'll just try out one more, we'll see what the envelope keypad looks like, or sounds like rather. So as you can hear, depending on how much velocity I'm playing each note with, will depend on how the note actually articulates. For example, if I play the note softly, or if I play it a bit harder, gives us a higher sound so as we can see a fair few nice sounds available even just in the presets there and we can even fire up the arpeggiator we'll see what that can do for us So quite a nice sound out of that one and as you can see the chorus and delay effects also being used with that particular preset. So if you use VSTs and you've got a PC I'd recommend grabbing hold of this one and trying it out because it is quite a good synth and quite a fun one to play with as well. So I hope you've come across something today that will be helpful and might be a good addition to your plugin library. and. Look forward to giving you some more free plugins to have a look at in our next free plugin tutorial. So try out some of these guys, have a bit of fun with them, and look forward to seeing you again in another Ben Ross's Conservatorium of Audio tutorial. Thanks for watching.